Video game donkey, bro. My man dropped another one. He's been dropping, but I've been passing on the reactions just because I don't know, bro. I just don't know the games he be playing. All right, I know this game. I've played this before. Crazy Taxi Bang. Not gonna lie, underrated. I'm not gonna lie, underrated game. Crazy Taxi is one of the craziest games. Listen, man, the first time I ever heard or f played Crazy Taxi was at the mall. When they had the, the little arcade thingy set up. I don't know what you call it, but pretty much it was like, it's like when they have Pac-Man, right? They had this. Nowadays, they have Mario. They have Fast and Furious. They have the bike, the motorcycle ones. They had this. And one of those big arcade little things, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, your boy had the PS2. Seen this game on the GameStop shelf. I was like, hey, Pops, can I get that? And I was saying your boy was young. He couldn't buy his own. He's like, I got you. And we was in there, bro. So let's see. Hey. Should I, should I, should I, should I do gameplay on Crazy Taxi? Let me know. My name is Bargain Binky. I've been gaming in this industry for 40 years. And one thing I learned that in this business is that you can get bigger in Mario if you run into the mushroom. People are always asking me, Binky, how can I build up my gaming library without having to sell my copy of Blast Corps for Nintendo 64? And I tell them that it's so easy. Once you can Keep see working. the world in a more bargainative way like I do, there are great deals every That is true. You can go to a flea market and negotiate, bro. Yo, they, I ain't gonna lie. At least the one out here where I'm from, bro, they be stingy. You can't bargain with people out here, bro. They People are stingy with their shit. You know what I'm saying? Some, uh, all right, crazy taxi, right? You find it at the flea market out here. Probably going for like $10, $15. Try to bring it down to like 8 5 You know what I'm saying? Kind of pushing it with 5 But you try to bring it down to 5 Ain't no one buying that game, first of all, buddy. Take this five and go on with your day. Because it's just going to keep sitting there collecting dust. You know what I'm saying? They be stingy with the prices, bro. So you got to really put it on them, bro. Pause. Okay? Yeah. Everywhere in this world, if you know where to look. Today, I found a copy of Crazy Taxi on eBay in the case with the instruction manual for only $5. See? And it comes with everything. The flea markets want 15 and all they got is the CD in a sleeve. Stop playing, bro. Look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, $5. Crazy. You can't even buy a hash brown from McDonald's for $5 anymore. Those are like $20 now. Crazy. Meanwhile, Crazy Taxi, oh one of the best God. driving games, <laughs> $5? And you wonder how I've grown my... Is that him? Is that him? Hey, y'all let me know if that's him. I don't know. Yeah, bro, see? And there's people out here doing this. They're collecting everything, bro. That's so fire. But so much space being taken up. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> My empire. This is an essential title for anyone who wants to become a serious and respected gamer such as myself. Originally, it was an arcade machine. It wasn't, huh? Was it? I don't think, was it? Oh my God, hold on. This was, bro, this was like early, mid 2000s. Okay. Was it yellow? I remember the speakers and I remember this little knob, but I don't remember it being yellow like this. It was black. Then it came to, you know, PlayStation 2, GameCube. But I always think oh, of Crazy yeah, yeah. Taxi as like the Dreamcast game. Am I so wrong in thinking that? Am I so wrong? Is a what game? The Dreamcast 2, GameCube. But I always think of Crazy Taxi as like the Dreamcast game. Am I mm. so wrong in thinking that? Okay. Am I so wrong? I was too young uh, to have a There is a bad version it. of the game on Steam for $8, it's a, it's a but bad. it doesn't have the original soundtrack. If you weren't <laughs> hearing the guy go, yeah, 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 every three seconds, then you weren't really experiencing Yo, Crazy Taxi at all, ass. are you? Most racing games are about doing laps, passing other people up, putting bananas on the floor. There's none of that Yo. in Crazy Taxi. It's you against the clock in an open-ended level, and the more you play, the more you learn about the level. Yo, oh. Oh. 
The sheer spectacle of the huge jumps, the sensation of speed, the fucked up physics. This is just one of those games where either you know or you don't know. And if you don't bro. know, you are an absolute... Imagine a Crazy Taxi 2 2024, bro. I mean, they might as well, bro. We got things like Uber, uh, you feel me, uh... All these other delivery services and all that. I don't even know, bro. Lyft, you feel me? Joke of a human being and one of the worst people in the world. You would have to be crazy not to like this game. It plays like a dream and it casts a huge shadow over every vehicular based video game. If you said to me, Binky, you have to choose between Crazy Taxi and Super Mario Galaxy, I would pick Super crazy. Mario Galaxy. But if you said <laughs> pick between Crazy Taxi and Super Mario Sluggers, I would pick Crazy Taxi because I don't even care about Mario Sluggers. The steering is super twitchy. It feels unwieldy in a good way where deep down you yeah. feel like you might get better one day. Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. the rumble that guides you. Try turning it off and you'll instantly get five times worse at the game. <laughs> this game is so much of that old school Sega energy. They're doing things in here that you could never do in a video game today, like having Gus as a playable character. Gus! Okay. Oh, God. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Bro, I, lo I love, I love watching nostalgic videos, bro. Cause it just brings you back to when you was young, just not worried about no damn bills. All you were, all, all you had to worry about was getting your homework done. And after that, you just hop on the game and play all fucking day, bro. Damn. Let's have some fun. A big part of being a professional cab driver is the small talk you make with other people, and I think they did a beautiful job capturing that with Crazy Taxi. Aren't you in a hurry? Get in. What did you nearly kill me? Okay, let's go. Okay, you ready? You nearly killed me. Hey, honey, take me to Pizza okay, Hut. Here we go. <laughs> pizza. If you've ever seen the movie Taxi Driver with Robert De Niro, this is way better and more realistic. The customers <laughs> are all people that you would. He want said, to "This is way better." Hold on. Robert De Niro, this is way better. Fila, what the fuck? So copyright wasn't an issue with this game. I heard her say Pizza Hut, but. What the fuck? They're in more realistic. The customers Copyright, are all trademark? people I don't know. that you would want to drive around, and some of them can even cause you to reflect on your own life. Sometimes I ask myself, who's crazy? KFC? This woman. Bro, what the fuck? How are they allowed to use like these trademarks, copyrights, whatever it is, right? I think it's trademarks. First of all, how? Who came up with Crazy Taxi? Where did it originate? You know what I'm saying? That's the real question. Woman who is waiting for a taxi to pick her up underwater so she can go to KFC or me for Crazy. knowing that she was in there and then there's a grandma <laughs> waiting on the roof phenomenal with all of this happening for five dollars it's no wonder why they call me bargain binky so do yourself a favor bargain and pick binky. up a copy of crazy taxi and the 30 dollar rumble pack and a hundred dollar dreamcast <laughs> yo you know you're gonna get taxed out here now bro especially now because i feel like so many people are trying to uh collect video games and and stuff like that so you go on eBay, this is, you ain't finding it for five. You ain't finding it for 15 like you would at a flea market, bro. You're finding this bitch probably for a good, like, $30. You know? Shit, crazy, scary fact. To the Joker, this is just normal taxi. This is crazier than the time I took a taxi to about, what? Huh? In a world full of taxis, only the crazy are sane. All right. The yeah, 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 yeah. It was incredibly accurate to all springs. It's all I want. Even after 25 years, Crazy Taxi is still one of a kind. Dead ass. Dead ass, bro. I feel like a lot of games back in the day, they were just one of a kind. You feel me? Of course, you have games with, that are like a whole series, like the Call of Duty series. You feel me? And stuff like that. But it's like one of them is so unique compared to every other one you know what i'm saying so it's like that was the beauty of video games back in the day bro no cap i feel like to each their own of course I, I know there's a lot of good games nowadays but like i feel like after the tw after playstation 3 and xbox 360 bro so like playstation 4 the xbox one and all of that everything after the those two consoles Games have been 
games have just been kind of saturated. I ain't gonna lie. Again, I know there's good games, but nothing like the PlayStation 2, 360, and 4. You know what I'm saying? Nothing like it. W video though, let me know what you guys thought. That's my reaction. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. I'm out.